You know what we're actually going to do? Let's go to 2300 because I want to go at least to Balthazar and I want to get the Poyozo dolls and we'll get the Chrono clone and then we'll be ready to go. For that way, when we do want to go resurrect Chrono, all we have to do is just go and do it. Let me in! I missed that last time I was in here, apparently. Unless that, for some reason, just spawned in here now. Oh, I need the clone first. God damn it. Ugh. <laughs> So basically, he gives you little Poyozo dolls that will turn into trees that will block the crazy, crazy winds on Death Peak and allow you to scale your entire way up there. I can't believe that just happened. That's so annoying. Boom. All right. Well, once again, this is... I. Every time I ever play this game, I always get the clone at the very beginning of the game when you're at the fair. So now I don't have to screw around when I come here. I can just come right upstairs and grab the stupid clone. Oh boy. Yeah, he, he's good. <laughs> yep, we would. Thank you. No, you're not the boss of me. Where was I just going to go? So we could do... There's a side quest we can do in 1000 AD at the castle. We can do the Giant's Claw in 600. We can plant the forest in 600. There's a factory in the future we can still do. Hmm. Trying to figure out which of those is going to be not super 1000% difficult right now. Oh, you know what I want to do? Let's go to Lucas' house and see if her dad has anything else for us. What's up, bro? Why, why, thank you. Speed plus three, fire guard up. I'll take it. Yeah, there's a quest I can do here. Hmm. Well, we'll figure it out later. For now, back to Balthazar, get the dolls. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm still going to do the Black Omen. i got to figure out how many times I want to do the Black Omen as well. Because you can do it subsequently. You can't do it in 2300 AD, but you can start in 1000 AD, do it there, do it in 600 AD, and do it in 12,000 BC. So I gotta decide which I wanna do. Kinda all you're really doing is just kinda stacking levels to fight Lavos later. All right. Well, guess what I got? <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Goodbye, Mr. New. Balthazar Steve again. This is Nobu Umatsu wrote this. Even though, I mean, Yasunori Mitsuda did... I mean, the rest of... The whole soundtrack's amazing. I love the soundtrack of this game, but this specifically is a track that Nobu Umatsu did. It is fantastic. All right, so now 
we can climb Death Peak whenever we want. But we're not going to do so just yet. Like I said, there is a factory here that we can do. We already did Son of Sun, so that's done. Welcome, everybody, that's checking out the channel. I really, really appreciate you being here. Streaming Chrono Trigger today and, uh, well, probably the rest of the week, actually, to raise awareness for our good friends at the Next Cast who are doing their fourth annual race against time next month. And basically, they play Chrono Trigger for 24 hours and give away tons of prizes, have tons of fun, and all for raising money to uh, for Alzheimer's Research, the Alzheimer's Society of Canada. So please check out the link over there in the chat. It's raceagainsttime.io, if, if the thing would let me paste it over there. Oh, Dan, thank you. Please check out the link. Follow them on Twitch. And again, August 11th and 12th are the days when you can expect to see that. And hey, if you want to throw me a follow, I would really, really appreciate it as well. If you love old school RPGs, I love playing old school RPGs and Black Ops Zombies, basically. That's all I play is old school RPGs, Black Ops Zombies. Two uh, fun kind of mishmash genres, I know. All right, so I th think... Hmm. Oh, let's, tr let's see if I can do this. Jerky. Uh, I forgot about that. Back to the Middle Ages we go. We need jerky. Ah, uh, this is the wrong side. The kitchen's on the other side. Knew it. I think I gotta buy some from like the. What? I don't even know. Yeah, I think I gotta buy some from somewhere. Dan, dropping them 55 pride biddies. Thank you very much, Dan. Super, super appreciate it. Fill up that cup. Yeah, see, I've got to find... There's some place where you can buy it, but it's like 10 grand. But, I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it. I want to say it's not there, but I want to say it's... Did I sell all my stuff before? Uh, yes, I did. Hmm. Curse you, Toma, legendary explorer. Pore? Maybe it's in Pore. Uh, if only I had some jerky too. No. Some of these responses have not changed since a long time ago. 
Yeah, I I know you would have. Good on you, bro. All right, so I gotta. Hmm. Tricky old marinade. <laughs> stuff was good. He did do too. When Justin and I used to record video reviews and stuff, he would just straight up bring like bags of it over to the house and just sit and hang out with us while we recorded videos and stuff like that. Jonathan Moore, thank you very, very much for the follow. I super appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. I bet you've got nothing to say. You're just so mad at me. You jerk. E. God, so now i got to figure out... Oh, I cannot remember for the life of me. Yeah, I bet he's been known to love jerky. All right. button <laughs> need to be on the ship first then we take the time machine there we go all right hey dick what's in the jerky try to remember there's a certain event that there's something you have to do specifically to trigger this i have not done this specific thing in like forever oh sure it snooze away i guess why not i may end up doing this one later Chef doesn't look like he's doing anything because he's not even in the kitchen right now. There's a place where you can get it. I know there's a place where you can get it. I just... It escapes me where. It escapes me where that is. I think it's here. Somewhere. Maybe I gotta go kick Ozzy's ass for it. Man, can I get some of that karate gi? Yeah, well, he didn't want to talk to me at all. Somebody was excited. Okay. Yeah, we're just huffing it. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> I 
I should bring Magus here. I swear there's somewhere you can buy it. It's like 9,900 gold or something like that. Maybe that was just the first time around. When I made him ungreedy. No, it's not there. If I have to go to like Chorus or someplace like that, I'm gonna be real mad. I may have to though. Tata! Still bickering about the legendary hero stuff. So I still gotta do this one. Which is how you replant the forest that covers this entire area. Or, well, you can make it cover the entire area. I have not repaired it yet, so I unfortunately have no idea yet. This is the most exciting stream of Chrono Trigger ever. It's me randomly wandering around like I'm lost. Do I have to save Chrono first? I may just have to save Chrono first before I can do that one. Oh man, I should go beat up Gatto. He's got metal joints. <laughs> okay, so we got that one done at least. That's done. I don't know, chat. You let me know which side quest should I attempt next. Should I do the debt? Should I do the forest? Should I do the factory in the future? I can't do the giant's claw right now. The hardest one. The desert is really a giant pain in the ass. I could do the desert one. <laughs> the hardest one. Thank you, Dan. You may get it for this. <laughs> what the? What the? Oh. Oh, can we? I don't know. She's got that wonder shot, which can do like amazing damage. <laughs> Luca all of a sudden is like my power hitter. I. Do not believe that that is necessary, sir. Yeah, this one's a huge pain in the ass. I, I mean, I don't mind it, but it can be really tough. If you're under leveled, like even a little bit, it can be a real pain in the ass to do this. I wonder if I can sneak fire two in here after I do the ice water. Vicious uploaded his 2000 twin game. I'm gonna check it out. I actually missed it when it was live. 
I was really hoping he'd get it with the doc when uh, they were doing fist respect that day before. But then they got they got second place in like that one game. If they hadn't gotten second place in that one game, that's when he would have gotten it. I do appreciate everyone checking out the channel today. Thank you so so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Epic Phone Guys Switch. Slap that follow button if you like classic RPGs. If you like Black Ops Zombies. <laughs> About the only two things I play is those. Uh, can we? Come on now. Stop it. Do it, Glenn. And of course, as I've said uh, before, this stream is all about raising awareness for our good friends at the Knicks cast and their Race Against Time 4, where they play Chrono Trigger for 24 hours. Ooh, dual tech line bomb. Thank you. They play Chrono Trigger for 24 hours to raise money for Alzheimer's Research, the Alzheimer's Society of Canada, August 11th and 12th, and basically that's it. That's why I'm playing this. I just want to raise awareness for those guys because they're awesome, and they deserve the support. So if you're checking this content out, please do me a favor and head over to their Twitch channel right quick. And you can do that at the link that's going to pop up in the chat right there. Head over there. And, uh, yeah, it would be super, super awesome if you could throw them a follow and uh, set your calendars for the event. Donate a little. Donate a lot. Whatever you can do to help uh, when the event comes. Perfect. I wonder if Antipode... See, Antipode 2 sucks, though. Mega Bomb. Just have her attack. She's like my power hitter now. I love Luke as my power hitter. Yeah, this is their fourth year doing the race against time. They just play Chrono Trigger for 24 hours. See how many endings they can get. It's always a great time. 2,200 damage. Jesus. That's just disgusting. She does more damage than Frog does with the upgraded Mazamune. Even with a crit. It, uh. Can we... Guys, let's talk about this. Yeah, see, well, he, it, it's like less than half. But that's the power of that freaking wonder shot. 1,100. Ugh. The problem is, is the damage varies widely, so it's like all over the place. Even still, though. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, she's working on her final tech. Fox still has two techs to go. She's working on her final tech, too. All right. You know, I'm going to use uh, Water 2, and I'm just going to use regular old Antipode. I thought Antipode hit... No. Ah, whatever. They're definitely dead. Holy cow. I don't see why you have to do that. Thank you, frog. And this is why we do this stuff without Chrono, because we don't need Chrono to do it. Frankly. An Eon suit. Th thank you for... What? I was just trying to check and see if there were any more treasures I missed. Too far away. I need to just keep spamming the ice water attack. I think that's probably just the smartest thing to do. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right, that's it. This floor is done.
I need to get Frog an accessory. I mean, he's got the hero medal, so I kind of can't, but... I'd love to have him, like, an accessory that actually bumped up his magic power considerably, because... For a level 2 spell, it's kind of insane how much more damage Marley does than he does. <coughs> Me no likey. Muscle ring. Mm. I don't think I have powers, power uh, things on anybody right now. Basically, want to get all the treasures first. Here we go. All right. Oh, it's a Zombor looking motherfucker. Yeah, Retin Knights. Wow, I just healed that thing for two grand. Come on, I want to interpose two, please. Oh, that's going to hit them all. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. This is a frog attack. That's probably going to heal the core. Guessing. And it's not going to do dick to anything else. Man! What kind of party is this I brought in here? Alright, we got to get some heals off. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. And... I'm actually going to let her stick to... It's really sad, but I think Luke is going to be my heavy hitter here. I think maybe just fire. Let's see if it's just weak against fire. I don't know what that was about. Wait a minute, did that spell not even go off? That was weird. Hmm. Alright, well we're gonna cast fire too then because uh I don't really know what else to do with that. God, I need that attack to be way stronger than it is. I'm gonna use a water spell now because his defense is up. I bet you I do. All right, let's do this. Water hardened sand defense down. Boom, boom. Thank you. Can you not? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, good. Thank you. That was nice of you.
Man, somebody needs blackmail on. I kind of wish I would have put that blackmail on somebody because they'd be able to deserve that shadow attack. <sighs> Water hard and sand. La la la. Ouch. All right, let's get. That's not good. Okay. All right, let's heal. Heal, 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 heal. Thank you. Ouch. Can you stop with the sucking? basically back on our feet now. I think I need to make Luca my first attack and not Frog because she's got that wonder shot and that thing can just be all over the place in terms of its power, so. Hit. Hit Marley with that. Why can't you hit Marley with that? It'd be great. frog attack. We're going to use Lapis. And she's going to use an Aether on herself. Man, I wish I would have equipped Shadow Armor. It would just make it that much easier. Just like a little tiny touch. Oh, crap. I forgot to use an Aether on her. Oh, well, whatever. I gotta just kill one half of this stupid thing. Just one half of it. And then this will be much, much easier going forward. There we go. Heal her right up. Thank you. The reason this thing's so annoying is because it just attacks relentlessly. And it's not like it's doing a super ton of damage, but it does stack those attacks enough where it could get dangerous if I'm not paying enough attention to healing. You know, you could just have one of those massive, like, giant hits. Can you not with the spinning out and stuff, please? See, that's, that's the thing that pisses me off. Counter attack, boom, right into a shadow attack. Now she's dead. That's the thing that's so damn frustrating. Thank God I got a bunch of lapises in here. Well, at least it's only going to get 50. Way too much shadow damage. I really should have come in here prepared for shadow damage. That better heal her. Thank you.
This heifer attack. I really need to kill that stupid legs. die again. God damn it! The attack frequency is obscene. I need somebody else with physical attack power. I can't, I can't, frog is not like the answer to this. Not even close. Frog's just gonna... I'm just gonna have to relegate him solely to healing. He's not gonna be able to do any more of this attacking shit. Because every time I start trying to have him attack as well, that's when it all goes to shit. 1100. There we go! Finally! She might actually survive that. I haven't done any damage to the head or the torso yet. wonder shot you gotta help me out bruh i really wish i'd come into this battle with blackmail on blackmail would make this so much easier because he'd be doing nothing but healing me every time he uses the laser attack that shadow attack forget it but who didn't come prepared Wonder shot. Luca, honey, you got to help me out here. Problem is, I mean, I, I said it before the battle too, but Clen just needs more magic power. That spell is doing, like, nothing. I'm just going to have him switch to Lapises because I'm going to recover more points that way. Oh my god, you've got to start doing more damage! <sighs> Somebody's got to use a Lapis here. She better not die. I would have been so freaking mad. Just heal. <sighs> the, the frequency with which that thing attacks is just obscene. heal herself. Real talk, Nick. What? Lapis. Stop. No, not particularly. This is I enjoy doing movie reviews, regardless of whether or not I've enjoyed the film or not. Can you please more damage than that?
I mean, if you're talking about just like you just like Jones and for content for the show, so you had to watch something you really necessarily didn't want to. Because that I definitely get. That I definitely get. Sometimes I just want I don't want sometimes I don't want to do current stuff in theaters. Sometimes I want to do a retrospective on something I love or something else like that, you know. Luke has been getting a couple of really, really good hits in here, but man. Marley's going to die again, unless I can kill this thing. She might not die, actually. She takes so much more damage from that than freaking Frog or uh, Luke would do, though. And, like, legit, every time, every time that he wants to suck health out of somebody, he goes for Marley. I do not understand why that is. Literally every time. Could you please... Start doing some actual damage. That's the crappy thing about that wonder shot. It's a great weapon when it wants to work. But it doesn't. It's like, pfft, what am I even wasting the time for? She needs to heal herself again. Frog use water and then attack. I should have Marley focused on, but the problem is, is Marley doesn't have a heal all spell, which is annoying. There we go. I use ice and now attack again. Except I'm gonna have Glenn attack this time. He's a little bit more tried and true than Luca's wonder shot. Lapis is coming. Nice. Get that crit in there. Couldn't have had a crit there, Frog. Huh? I'm going to get one more ice spell out of Nadia before I have to throw another ether at her. There we go. Nice shot. Even though I think I, I did. Yeah, I was supposed to use the ice first. Ah, whatever. Let's have Luca attack. Hopefully, please kill it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, what is... That's Lock. Yeah. Lock is so super annoying. Oh, this way. Let me up the stairs! There we go. Oh, I see you. Hey, mate. There we go. All right. I believe we've got to have Robo in the party to do this. So let's... At least briefly, Swederman. Peace.
Oh, and now the desert's gone. The dry, barren desert's gone, and just the forest remains. Robo must have done a good job. Let's go see if he's hanging around. Fifty grand. Fifty grand, but like it's so worth it. <laughs> it's so insanely worth it for those three hats because number one, they're good. <coughs> they're really good, but I can never be affected by status ever again. What did the time I even do? Oh, it's prevent stop and slow. Again, I don't need that. And same thing here. Boom. And did anybody have the amulet still, or did I get rid of that? No, I got rid of that. Oh, my God. That's so, so nice. The good thing is I can just trade those off. Like, if I switch out party members, I can just trade them over to different party members. Boom, boom. Uh, memory cap. Nope. And time hat. Nope. Perfect. What did the other ones do? Uh, sight cap, chaos, lock, stop and slow. Vigil hat protects against all of them. And there he is. What's up, big guy? And here we are, the absolutely iconic campfire scene. You can see right down below me there. I love it. it it's so, so much. But if we... Chrono's not here because I did this before I got Chrono back. Uh... Lies. The identity of the entity. And... I love the campfire. I, I like I said, it's it's easily probably one of the most iconic scenes in the entire game. Just that like shot of everybody just sleeping around the campfire and whatnot. But ooh, uh oh. Uh, let me see here. D. So. D. D X C X. D X C X. Yep, you did. So now, earlier in the game, you know, we noticed that uh, Luca's mom was in a wheelchair. And now we've come back to that moment and we find out why. Got it. Saved the mommy. <laughs> 
Now we must return. What is happening? Oh, hello, Robo. Piece of amber I created using a sap from the tree of the forest. Green Dream. That is a tech accessory. I don't know who it's with, though. A oh, one-time auto reanimate. Oh, okay, never mind. No, that's something different then. Something different. Tell you what, I do need to start finding some of those things because I don't have any of them yet. Alright, so that one is complete. 